thanks for joining us. A graph detailing how many people are flying out of Madison's yeah, airport bye. shows a very slow recovery from the pandemic. Holiday travel today will increase the numbers a bit, but far from what past years offered. Our Gabriella Becerra is at the Dane County Regional Airport tonight, and she found out just how low those numbers are this year. Gabby? Well, Eric and Susan, AAA considers the day before Thanksgiving the busiest travel day of the year. But as you can see behind me, not so busy, not busier than a typical day here, at least lately. But that's because most people decided to drive. UW-Madison student Julia Endicott is flying to California for Thanksgiving. It's her first time going home since the semester started. I just want to be home with my family. All my roommates are going home as well, but they're from Minnesota, so a little bit easier of a trip. They got to drive. I have to fly, unfortunately. Julia's roommates aren't alone. Choosing to drive is the more popular mode of transportation this year. Some folks who maybe uh, normally would fly uh, home are going to be driving instead, but then we're also going to see some folks who might normally drive uh, simply not make the trip altogether. Dane County Regional Airport is feeling that loss. Spokesperson Michael Ricker says terminal traffic is down by more than 70% this year. We're expecting to see a little bit of a bump, but it, it's down year to day quite a bit. In the days leading up to the Wednesday before Thanksgiving in 2019, nearly 10,000 people flew out of the Madison Airport. This year, that number is about 4,000. Because of this, revenue is down by about 15%. But Federal CARES Act funding helped the financially self-sufficient airport break even this year. I would say our low point was uh, shortly after the pandemic. You know, March, April was sort of the, the bottom of the trough. And then since April, um, it's been a very, very slow recovery, but it has been, uh, you know, upward trending. If you do decide to travel, whether flying or driving, AAA suggests doing some research first. Um, whether restaurants um, may be open, you know, along the route, you know, uh, um, you're traveling and in the destination you're going to. And flyers like Julia are prepared to get to their destination without catching COVID along the way. Brought my wipes. Got my mask, you know, just gonna be as safe as I can. Not, not too nervous. Here at the airport, there are mask and sanitizer stations for people to take what they need as they come and go. And if you decide to drive this year, travel safe. AAA says more people are dying in car crashes, despite fewer people actually being on the roads. Gabriella Becerra reporting live. Gabby, thank you.